one it's Heather with ideas to come and this is my altered spool and it's so funny because I always call it a thimble and I know a thimble is a little thing that you put on your finger but I always call this a thimble <laughs> I call them thimbles I don't know I get all confused anyways it's my altered spool and I didn't do anything to the bottom but um, I made the spool with this is a jar and two pieces of round um, it's not cardstock it's really thick um, like poster board like thick thick poster board with foam inside it's really thick anyways <laughs> this is my crafts so craft supplies one DT project altered spool pin cushion and I just finished making the um, oh my gosh my <laughs> these <laughs> and um, I used to make a lot of them and then I just kind of got away from making them and um, so I made these especially for this one and so I just show you real quick oh it's the lights like not very good there we go these are so pretty I love these ones but they're super expensive so um, I don't get a lot of them stick pins there we go stick pins <laughs> oh my goodness I do that every time so there's my stick pins that I made for the pin cushion and so first let me move this because I can't see and it's probably better if I can see what I'm trying to show you guys and let's see if I can zoom out a little bit and first so this is a jar on the bottom and um, I put and this is from uh, Kitty Scrap Post, Louisa's uh, DT, uh, DT kit, kit, her um, shabby chic papers kit. That's where this one came from. I love, love those papers. So that's what I used. And I'll put um, Louisa's shop down below too, in case you want to get this paper. It's super gorgeous. She has some beautiful papers in that collection. Of course, all her collections are beautiful, but <laughs> anyways, these are, so I put some lace on the bottom around here after I papered all of this and on the top, and you can see this one underneath, and then of course I put that beautiful uh, trim from Julie's shop, and um, I'm using it sparingly. It's one of my favorite trims because it has the little flowers on there. And this other trim that is my favorite, this pearl drop trim, it's kind of an ivory color. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but um, this is, oh, of course it's stuck on the light. Hang on a second. This is the trim. And I love this trim. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it. Anyways. Here's some of those new shabby chic flowers from Julie's shop. I love these. So shabby. They're nothing like paper. So, I mean, maybe they are paper. They feel like fabric to me, but they're gorgeous. I love her new flowers in her shop. And so this was a, a piece that was already put together. So I all I had to do was place it on there, which is the other thing I like about these flowers from her shop is they're already put together, and all you got to do is place them on there. Super, super gorgeous. I don't even know. I'm, I've got you guys pointed up. Sorry. And I should be ah, pointed down. Now I'm just now it's just going wacko. Let me straighten you guys out. I'll point you back down. Okay. So, so I love those flowers, and they're already put together for you, so all I had to do is put them down, which makes it super easy. I have some more of that trim on the bottom. I have this um, braided trim here um, from Julie's shop. It's a lavender color. It's super gorgeous. I love it. And then I just have a bling here, and I think this bling is um, actually for a cell phone. And I picked it up at Walmart or somewhere. They had it on sale. Sorry, I'm putting my fingers in the way. I also have some of Julie's, that pretty, pretty trim from Julie's shop here. Love this trim. It has the silk on the top and then the, like, organza on the bottom. 
kind of like an organza. And then I have some of my butterflies. I was searching and searching for my butterflies and I finally found them. So here's some of my butterflies that I made a while back. And I just put a couple of Julie's doilies. I layered them one on top. This is a beige one and then a white one and then a cameo on top. Love how this came out. And then you can see the bottom of this one. See, I papered that. And then on top, I have some more of her shabby chic flowers here. A dove from her shop and some blings on the, then there's another one of my butterflies. And I've made a tutorial on these ladies. If you didn't know, I do have a tutorial on the butterflies. And some blings, diamonds flowers oh I love these flowers they're so super gorgeous I love her flowers and then this it's, uh, it's like a safety pin and I painted it white um, and I I just love these these are so awesome and I painted it it was silver you can still see some of the silver and I just left it plain that's how I wanted it just plain like that oops where's the front there's the front and then all my stick pins that I made of course, I showed you those. On the top, this is a piece of, like, wedding dress that I had. And I put the uh, polyfill in there. And then I just gathered it. And I made a hole in this top. In the top, I just made a small hole. And I pulled it through and just pulled it all through nice and neat. And then I put one of Julie's doilies on top. I love her doilies. If you don't have any of her doilies you gotta go over and get some I think I've used all almost all of the doilies that she sent me I love them and um, this is another flower piece that was already together just like this I didn't have to do anything to it and then I added some of her porcelain ribbon flowers here on the on each side Let's see if I can show you that on each side I put those I love that little bunch of flowers so I'm, I, I'm in love with the Julie's flowers I love them I use them on almost every project that I do probably every project that I do um, so there it is and I put a purple one right there and that is it my altered spool pincushion so I hope you guys like it um, I'm going to be back with another video. I want to do a little chit chat with you, but I wanted to present that first to you all. And I hope you like it. Let me know. Thumbs up, everybody, <laughs> if you like it. And let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.